The Last of Us Factions is indescribable. It is one of the best multiplayer games I've ever played. And I'm almost positive that any Factions fans would agree with me 100%. And those who still play it to this day, to this day, will understand the need for another experience like this. That's why I, and I'm sure many other fans, are curious and a little worried about how Factions 2 is going to turn out. I'm sure over at Naughty Dog, they're painstakingly doing their research on what'll make Factions 2 phenomenal. There's been barely any news on it since the rumors for Factions 2 began, and I can only assume their scientists of game developers, coders, designers, and programmers are doing their very best to replicate what's been done with Factions 1. Sony, Naughty Dog, and the Factions fanbase realize the crazy amount of potential a Factions 2 could have. The longevity that this game has had is mind-blowing. There hasn't been a single update for it for like the last seven to eight years. And it's still being played by thousands of people to this day. Sony and Naughty Dog do realize this. And I can only think of how they can capitalize off of it and how we can have fun. Factions is like fish and chips. Because fish chips are amazing. If you don't like fish and chips, then you don't like pussy. Even though I'm a virgin, a 26-year-old virgin that doesn't have pussy. So I decided to start a channel focusing on Factions 1 and 2 content. I also eventually want to do uh, other games also. All types of games. I don't want to focus on one series. Just to name a few, uh, I definitely want to make some Grand Theft Auto shit. I love GTA. GTA is such a... I, I just love GTA. Not modern GTA, but the past GTA. And I also definitely want to make videos on Metal Gear and Silent Hill. Because I am fucking hyped to see what's going to happen with that, with those two. Something's happening. People who know, know. Something's happening with that. And uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be fucking insane. So definitely look out for that content if you're interested. If you're not interested. If you're only interested in faction stuff, that'll still be here. But I will definitely be focusing on other stuff too. In this new Speculas series, title still pending, I want to speculate and theorize on anything and everything Factions 2 related. So in today's Speculas episode, we'll be discussing proning and how it will affect the gameplay in Factions 2. So let's move on to our first topic. How will it affect the map design? The map design in Factions is superb! The only map I dislike out of the 17 maps is probably Downtown. Some like it, most hate it. But what do all maps have in common? Vehicles. Imagine a map like Financial Plaza with the ability to prone. Having the ability to prone under the white truck in the middle of the map could be a neat idea, making it a quick and easy way to get the drop on somebody. To me, I don't know how I would feel about being able to do something like this. The plus side of going under the vehicle is to catch the snoozing enemy off guard in a quick and easy fashion, getting a neat shiv kill. But the negative side, which outweighs plenty of positives in my book, is camping. If you think camping is bad in factions now, just wait till someone is able to stay under a car for 10 minutes. Waiting for you to win an intense fight just to completely fuck you. It's ridiculous. That would suck. It's one of the many reasons why I stopped playing Warzone. I fucking hate Warzone. I think it's a terrible game. I don't know why people still play it. Fuck it though, bro. It's your life. Another way it could affect the map design is blending in with the natural environment. I'm sure with being able to prone, the devs will add the ability to hide in the grass and bushes, in which I would have to say again, it could be helpful, but can also be very annoying. It will definitely promote camping, and it, it would feel like we were playing PUBG. And, uh, I don't think PUBG was also a very good game, in, in my opinion. Don't get me wrong, it was a good game, but not as good as Factions. That's for sure. 100%. I, I, I will go down with that ship. 
There is a silver lining. What if we were able to destroy foliage? Imagine throwing a Molotov onto the tall grass or a bush and it'll burn all the grass in that area. Anybody who would be hiding in that grass would be damaged by it, by the spread. That would be a pretty good way to negate camping, destroying a big patch of grass. That actually sounds cool. And obviously, grass can grow in like five minutes, so it would be permanently damaged. There's no more hiding in that grass, it's gone. These may sound like nitpicky things to the average video game player, but if you've been playing factions as long as I have, you know that the gameplay formula we have currently is, is too good. It, it feels like, why ruin something that's already good? I I wouldn't mind if they just dragged the gameplay from Factions 1 just put in Factions 2 and now they update it. That would be amazing. I don't want them to ruin such a good formula. I think I've covered enough of uh, map design for now. But uh, if I missed anything, uh, let me know. But now we move on to our next topic. Proning during combat. Shooting from a prone position, it seems to work fine in The Last of Us 2 story mode, uh, but will it work good in a multiplayer environment? I'm sure you're thinking, of course it would, have you played Call of Duty? What about PUBG? Yes, yes I have. But can you compare that to factions? I think not. I think not. So anyways, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let's think about this. Imagine you're proning against the corner of a wall, you know, to peek and shoot. Could be a nice tactical improvement to the gameplay. You'd be showing less of your body, but the most important and vulnerable part of your body, which is your head, is exposed. Which could balance the meta. But now let's get into the shoes of the guy getting caught by the proning wall hugger. I coined that term. Uh, <laughs> he has a small window to react with even a smaller window to shoot at. The only safe option I can think of to combat the prone is a throwable. There could be a balance, however, in that whoever is prone, it would have to take them longer to get back up to avoid the throwable. So they're screwed. Their best option is to just take you down while you also go down. So then the meta does kind of balance if you think about it that way. <sighs> now let's get into prone diving. How annoying would it be if you were shooting at someone and they were just prone diving all over the place? Sprint, circle, sprint, circle, sprint, circle, sprint, circle, okay? Dodging every single bullet you put up. It would make me think I was playing GTA Online or Red Dead Online. The dodging mechanics in those games are so terrible. They're so annoying to deal with. Even in Metal Gear Solid 5 Online, there's no cooldown to dive. So you're just shooting at like a frog, jumping all over the place. It's, it's very annoying. The only thing I can think of to negate constant prone diving, if it does appear in Factions 2, I kind of hope it doesn't in all honesty, is some kind of cooldown between dives. That's all I got. I, I can't think of anything else to negate it with. There should be at least like 5 seconds of cooldown before you're able to dive again. A game that dealt with diving in a good way is probably Black Ops 1. The diving was so trash to do that people wouldn't even do it during combat. It was just like a fun mechanic. Naughty Dog is going to implement diving. It needs to be like Black Ops 1. And definitely not like Red Dead Online. That's all I got. For proning during combat but if you have any other suggestions let everybody know in the comment section because I love I love speculating it's a fun thing to do you know so uh, let's get on to the next topic proning during stealth so listen mode is one of the most used things in the last of us factions obviously people get annoyed with covert training two and three and I think the proper way to remove covert trading 2 and 3 would be if everyone had access to it through crawling. When someone is crawling, no one would be able to see them through listen mode. It would be OP 
if you would crawl fast, right? But crawling is a slow process. Crawling is slow. And crawling could be inconvenient if you were spotted doing it. You know, you'd be fucked if you were to get right back up and try to run away. One problem I do have with this though, is that if everybody is given the ability to not be seen through listen mode, everybody is going to take that chance to just crawl all over the map. It's going to make the game slow and nobody would really want that. So it depends on how they implement it, how they do it. One way they can implement it is if you are seen through listen mode while crawling, but only at a close range, maybe like five, six, seven feet, that would be a pretty good range to be seen through crawling. Let's just hope that they don't treat crawling the same as crouching. You know, you're not going to be able to detect someone crawling 30 feet away. That's just unrealistic and also kind of annoying because it kind of negates the whole purpose of crawling in the first place during stealth. You know, what's the point if you can just crouch and not crawl? The only purpose of crawling now is just to get the shot on somebody, go through bushes, and going under things and yeah that's it this one was kind of hard to figure out there's a lot of opportunities they can take with crawling during stealth and there's a lot more angles to that than meets the eye so if you have any suggestions on how they can really implement crawling during stealth feel free to let us know conclusion at the end of the day we have no influence over what will and will not make it into the game but we can, however, speculate, theorize, and discuss what we want and don't want in Factions 2. Proning could be a good addition, but I can also see how it could be very annoying as well. Uh, the moment-to-moment -moment snappy gameplay of Factions 1 is just, it's, it's just too good, you know? And something like proning could ruin the flow that we already know and love. Let me know what you think, though, and be sure to let the community know as well how you want proning to be implemented in factions 2. Be sure to like and subscribe, you know. Uh, give me some honest feedback and criticism on today's video because I want to improve in the future. So, thanks for watching.